you've probably heard of chicken noodle soup, but what if we sub out the noodles, stuff our chicken, and slowly simmer with vegetables, creating a comforting classic French soup fit for a king or queen? Welcome back to Bourdain. Everybody should know how to use a knife. Use everything, waste nothing. Let's start at the beginning. It ain't that hard, okay? Hope you're doing well. My name is Rich May. We are working through every recipe in Bada Bing Bao Boom, Anthony Bourdain's Lay Al Cookbook. Let's get started here. We are going to make pool a po. Pool a po. Big old glug of olive oil just fell down for some reason. It's okay. This is a really good brand though. I did my research. This is the one to get if you are all about the health benefits. I've always been a fan of these recipes that utilize ingredients you would have lying around and through the magical process of time and slow cooking, you're left with something delicious and hearty. As usual, I have Anthony Bourdain's Layout Cookbook linked down below in the description of this video. Let's get moving on this comforting kind of classic soup. We are going to combine everything for our stuffing. First, take some bread and heavy cream. He calls for a cup of bread. This is more like two cups and I'm going to add our heavy cream. Let this combine and let the bread Soak up the crema. Get this over to the side. Now in another bowl, we get to have some fun with some chopped chicky livers. I don't know if you've ever dealt with chicken livers. They're bloody, they're drippy. They are rather unique. I'm going to mix everything aside from the bread while it's soaking. So we're gonna start with a little pork. This is one pound of sausage. Next up, a whole lot of chicken livers. Yeah, that's, uh, that's happening. Get some parsley. Bourdain calls for, I believe, two or three sprigs. I always overdo it with the parsley. I don't think you can. Shallot, finely chopped. I've really been having fun going after shallots. I just feel like a little freaking chef when I'm making shallots. And one egg yolk. It's gonna get in here and have some fun. Kind of like a posh a meatloaf, now that I think about it. I don't know if you're a big chicken liver person, but I could eat chicken liver pate with a spoon. That looks nice and mixed to me. Our bread cubes go in. Honestly, I feel like we can go heavier on the bread cubes. So I'll start just adding these guys, but I'm going to try and maintain some level of sanitation, milk and eggs and raw meat. And I'm just gonna soak more of our bread. This is now three cups of chopped up stale bread. Let's let that have some fun. Let's just nicely incorporate everything. It's heavy on the meat, man. And I'm a little not happy about that. I don't like when a stuffing is more meat than stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's actually funny. I remember cooking up AB's Thanksgiving and he had us do stuffing as well. And it was light on the bread. Get that off. Yum. And I'm not gonna add too much salt because the salt is in the sausage already. And I salted our bird cavity. Heavenly smell coming out of this. Just really sublime. Now we're going to truss up a chicken. Never actually trust up a chicken with strang. If I can flip this properly, it's gonna come out good. <sighs> gonna pat it down first. And I heavily season this because it's kind of going to season our whole stock broth. Definitely channel my wing tucking nature. We have way too much, too much. And now I realize I cut the skin that would help us stuff this chicken. So uh, that sucks. I should not have cut, but let's try and truss it up anyway. If I remember properly, we start with what would be under the Pope's nose, which I freaking cut off. Maybe just try to sew it shut, like he says. Yeah, how about that? Let's try to follow what the man says instead of going all overboard. And just Frankenstein this thing together. Go in. Whew, surprised he didn't give me any directions on this, man. If you got good tips on how to truss a Boyd, let me know, please. I'd say we have this nicely sewed shut. Let's just tie it at those points. I'd say from here, um, I'm just gonna toss it in. I could truss it again, but honestly, that word is starting to stress me out. We're trussing it one more time. I do wanna do a comment of the week from Elton Wild. Thank you for the comment, sir. 500 subscribers, yes, and now I'm, there's a lot, there's more than 500. I'm grateful to be in the state I am because I can still respond to all comments. Eventually, you know, there may be a time where I won't be able to view everything and that's gonna suck. It's kind of bittersweet. If Oh gosh, if you wanna be in a video, think about subscribing and commenting and I may just pick you and your cute little batootie. Everything is for the most part prepped up. We're now going to just put everything in our massive freaking pot. Our cute onions, leeks all bundled up, carrots, one extra leek, why not? Celery, turnips, and our bouquet garni. Load this up with water. And now I'm curious what we're gonna do with all that leftover sausage stuffing mixture. I have no freaking clue. 
Actually, we're gonna make some meatballs because why not? About three to four ounces for each meatball. I toss it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. They looked a little funky, but I let them cool, give them a taste, and they were surprisingly, confusingly delicious. Coming back to our soup, which has been simmering low and slow with an amazing aroma, we skim the scum about every 15 to 20 minutes and we are back to it. Everything is tender. It's only been about an hour and a half. The chicken is falling off the bone. I kind of foresaw the first saw this coming with the livers lending a nice color to the broth. Maybe I'll give that a quick strain. Something different I'm actually gonna do here is take out the chicken first. I feel like my mom right now. I remember she always makes chicken noodle soup when we're sick. She always takes it out and just lets it cool in kind of like a dish like this, just to catch all those juices. Our vegetables are all cooked, like the leeks, the carrots, everything is all cooked. So I'm gonna pull them out as well. Color, contrast going on, everything's cooked properly. I don't wanna keep cooking it because I don't wanna turn things to mush. The leeks are already getting pretty mushy mush. So we're gonna get this back on the burner, cook our potatoes and our cabbage for 30 minutes until they're nice and tender. Honestly, it feels like overkill in the veg department. And I would like to take a moment to thank my Ko-Fi supporters. Ko-Fi is how you can donate to me and help pay for these recipes. Our donators are Michael McArthur, Alan, Anonymous, Moniker, Twice, Roxanne, Roberta, Kevin Paulin, and finally, Aodan. I really appreciate the help. If you want to donate anything, $1, $2, two quarters, you can go to Ko-Fi in the link in the description and it helps me out huge and you'll get a mention. Each guest should get a piece of white meat, a piece of dark meat, some vegetables and a spoonful of stuffing. A little broth over each portion and serve with the condiments. Took some time. There's a lot of elements. The meatball, right? The liver meatball. It's damn heavenly. It maybe needs some salt, but interestingly enough, Bourdain has us served with salt, cornichons, and Dijon mustard. The showstopper is this freaking stuffing. I would love to prepare this when someone is sick, for example, when someone is like not doing too hot. It's just comforting. It's just nice. It's really rainy outside. I feel like poop a little bit, but I'm still recording anyway. This brightened my mood. It really did. Some things I'd do different, reduce the amount of things going on. For example, don't add leeks, just add onions and chop it up old school like Mama Mae does, or just take out the cabbage completely because it is a lot. Remove things, put things back. You know, it's delicious. It's French. <laughs> if you want to subscribe, think about doing that. I have a video to your right. More recipes, more things coming. Thank you for spending your time with me. This was Back to Bourdain. Stay organized and clean up after yourself. You do the best you can.